Cameroon is a country in Western Africa. 48% of the 22 million Cameroonians live in rural areas and in poverty. We are here in Belo, one of these small rural towns in the northwest region of Cameroon. Not far from the town center, there is an inconspicuous container Rudek Cameroon has made its office. The Rural Development Center Cameroon is a developing nonprofit organization that improves the quality of rural life through sustainable social, economic, and environmental projects. Rudek tries to provide the most vulnerable members of its community with means to access basic education and tools to empower their lives. The man behind it all is Joshua Chiamba, a Cameroonian born and raised in Belo. RUDEC is an abbreviation for Rural Development Center. And Rural Development Center was found in 2006. The mission behind it was to seek means to empower the underprivileged. And RUDEC's biggest project is the, is the orphan project. And what we do with them is we support them with their educational needs, uh, paying school fees, uh, paying their books, and their medical bills. And we are looking for more uh, productive ways that, we, that are sustainable, that we ourselves will be able to generate our own income and be able to help these children by our own means. We are going to do this through uh, a project that we, we've visualized since uh, uh, early 2015 uh, to get a piece of land and we are hoping to install 200 beehives on this piece of land. Beekeeping is a cherished tradition in Belo and one of Joshua's favorite pastimes. The merits of beekeeping are numerous. The bees increase the crop yields of farmers by pollinating more flowers, while the bees produce honey, which is both nourishing and medicinal. Through this project, Rudek helps preserve the African honeybee species while creating revenue and thereby employment in the local community. The project was first proposed with the help of a Chinese volunteer, Anto Tang, in early 2015. Later that year, one hectare of land was bought with the support from the American volunteer, Michael Clooney. In the following five months, a total of 50 beehives were installed on the land. By 2017, Rudek plans to have installed 200 beehives. In the long term, Rudek hopes to purchase more land in the surrounding area and employ locals to support in harvesting and maintaining the beehives. Hello, my name is Lynn and I am a Rudek volunteer from Germany. During my time here, I have decided to devote myself to the beekeeping project. Thanks to international private donors, we have already been able to build over 50 beehives. I now want to show you where this money from the donations goes and how the beehives are made exactly. The first step is buying all the materials needed. Then the metal bars have to be sawed into the right length and welded together. The finished stand is then painted with anti-rust paint. A metal sheet is cut into size for the roof. After the different parts of the beehive body are cut into shape, they are assembled. Lastly, the wooden slats, or top bars, on which the bees build the honeycomb are assembled. Now, all of this is transported to Rudex Bee Farm, located 45 minutes away from Belo. Usually, Joshua carries the materials to the farm on his motorbike. We have now arrived at the bee farm. With the biggest chunk of work already done, the installment of the beehives now goes rather quickly. Let's see how Joshua does it. First, 
we find a stable place to set the stand. Next, we place the beehive on the stand and cover it with the wooden slats. We now take some beeswax and apply it on the first five slats as well as the entrance holes in order to attract the bees in a process called baiting. Now we set the metal roof on top to protect the hive from heavy rainfall and other unwanted guests. Finally, we cover the roof with grass and leaves so that the noise from large tropical raindrops doesn't scare the bees and place some large stones on top to hold it all in place. Quite a simple process. The next step is to continue cleaning and baiting the hives with beeswax so that the bees will naturally colonize them. About half a year after the bees have made the hives their home, we can harvest pure sweet honey. After the honey is harvested, it is prepared to be sold. Rudek fills the delicious honey into reusable containers and adds the label. After assembling all the pieces of the beehive and installing it on the bee farm, after waiting for the colonization of the hives and harvesting the honey after half a year, after bottling the honey, it is finally ready to be sold. The best thing about this project is that it is so easy to help. With the Sponsor a Beehive initiative, for just 40 euros or $45, you can sponsor a beehive and help Rudek become self-sufficient and support orphans in Cameroon. We estimate that giving Rudek these 40 euros today will earn Rudek and support orphans with more than 500 euros over the next 10 years. For each donated hive, you can even have a custom-made inscription. As you all have heard, uh, you are not only helping uh, the environment and the bees, you are helping a network. And this network is the children, 57 children that we are sponsoring. If we have more beehives, we are going to have a lot more money so that we'll be able to help the 57 kids that we have in our program by providing them better health, by providing them better education, by paying their school fees. And we want to thank you again, past volunteers, present volunteers, private donors, local people, international people, and Cameroon One that has been like at the backbone of supporting the children. Uh, we want to thank Honey Love, for joining our movement for a healthy environment and healthy people, not a helping the environment, also helping the children. We thank you very much. Mm -hmm.